Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabigli with another random video and this is actually a video that I've had the idea for since I did my famous birthdays video all the way back when I was on that website famous birthdays where not only did it have my birthday but it had a lot of very specific facts about me that I don't remember making public it like compiled them all and it was honestly a little bit creepy but at the same time sort of flattering that someone had went to all that work to like compile things about me and I did that video where I sort of fact checked what was on the page and there's another website that I'd like to fact check which is called Wikitubia I've actually known about this website for years and years and years now I actually uh, when I was like a younger smaller channel really looked up to this website because back when it was like in its heyday it basically was the sign that you had made it as a YouTuber if you got an entry on this. It meant that your fans were passionate enough to make a wiki entry about you and about all the specific things that they wanted to share with the world and compile so that other people looking for the same content creators could find it as well. But there's some like really insane details on this website. Actually, I looked up to this site so much that back in 2015, I had a tweet that went up very cringy one that says I hope someday the channel's big enough for a wikitubia entry if only so I can see what minuscule details about me the writer includes xd yeah I got a whole 10 likes on that tweet that was clearly the pinnacle of my popularity right there but yeah, Wikitubia is this really weird site here. It says, welcome to YouTube Wiki. For those of you guys who are not initiated with this site, I'll go ahead, I'll give you a quick rundown of what it's all about. It says, welcome to Wikitubia. This is an unofficial YouTube Wiki run by fans. Wikitubia was founded on September 25th, 2006, and currently has 3,564 articles. So this site's been around for a freaking long time, basically like since the inception of YouTube more, or less and it's like I said one of those things that back in the day if you got an entry on this thing it meant that people loved you and it meant that you had made it and I'm not sure that <laughs> like it's one of those things that really matters in the long run because it's still a wiki it's still fan run literally anyone can go onto this site and they can edit it and add whatever they want in fact for a while my page I know had like a meme on it or someone said that they were going to add a meme on it about some like weird stuff I had said I don't know there's like so many things that are on this site that are just like potentially not that special um, at the same time there's also like little details that sort of freak me out like you can find the blood type of some youtubers if they've mentioned it before and their fans are rabid enough to have added it and I shouldn't say rabid I guess passionate enough you guys are passionate but sometimes some of you are a little bit extra anyway this site is wild it's got like a hall of fame where there's all these like famous people all these big time youtubers who have been around for a long time making content maybe their pages are the most popular at the time that type of thing there's Jack's films here with his scary grin there's a famers the famers and the featured section I had no idea it's got everyone on here this is wild so there's like Vsauce there's a T series here there's uh, Marcus Plyer, all your favorite YouTubers are up here, but we don't really care about them. Today, we're going to be looking at my entry. I'm gonna be digging up dirt about myself and I'm gonna be fact checking and seeing how accurate my entry is. So let's dive on in, see exactly how cringe this can be. And there you have it, folks my entry in all of its glory look at that old picture that's up there too gosh <laughs> i think they probably got that uh from my instagram i'm wearing like this uh old christmas t-shirt that i got from one of the sponsor boxes that i used to get and then oh you can click youtube icon so there i am now i've very briefly visited this page before but i've never read it in depth so i'm sure we're gonna come across some things that are just a little bit weird and possibly things that need to be edited but being uh being someone who doesn't really care that much i mean if you guys decide to go in and edit it that's up to you i don't really i'm probably not going to be checking it very often to be honest i think it's cool that this is here it's very flattering that it's here but like i said before pretty much anyone can go on the page and add whatever they want so i don't feel like i'm that special for being on here but i think it's really neat that like you guys are passionate enough to have made an entry for me so thank you thank you so much for that thanks for letting me know that 
We made it, fam. So at the very top, we got my quintessential video intro quote of, hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, which is honestly the thing that I use the most because I'm a gaming channel. I do a lot of Let's Plays. Although the, hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbigly is probably more accurate just due to the fact that I start every video with that line and then insert whatever I'm doing. But it's really neat that that's sort of like the highlight of the profile there. Now, I kind of want to look over here on the YouTuber information underneath my picture. Oh, man, <laughs> that's so funny. It's got both those things. But we got my name. We got my Twitter handle. We got my Facebook, which honestly, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't update my Facebook very often. It's mainly just a video dump. Whenever I post a new video, I'll update it over on Facebook. But besides that, I don't really talk to people on there very much or anything like that. It is really nice. Like sometimes when I get comments over on the Facebook page, I'll like like them or interact with them in some kind of way so that people know that I at least read them. But besides that, I'm not very active on Facebook. It is really cool that they included all my social links though we do have my twitch my tumblr my google plus my instagram and even my merch store if you guys want to peep that hot hot merch you can find that link over here on this page and also in my uh youtube section as well on my actual channel but uh yeah we got uh style gaming date joined march 17th 2013 that is correct status active i am videos 1700 plus i've made a lot of youtube videos guys i've been on youtube for over five and a half years now so it's been a long long journey full of lots and lots of gaming videos and that's kind of neat that they actually have a sub button right here so people who are like newer to my channel like if they just randomly stumble across the page they can just subscribe to the youtube channel right there that's really neat got my most viewed video i know what this one is i'm not gonna click it because it's automatically gonna get this video demonetized so we're not gonna mess with that one but if you guys ever want to see it you can always filter that out over on this page you can just go to the most popular videos on my page and uh you'll find it you'll be able to see exactly what that's all about but anyway so we have a summary of who i am brian's a korean american youtuber who is known for his let's plays of various video games particularly particularly dating sims and visual novels. He also posts vlogs and comedy content. That is true. That's uh, very, very true. I do what I can to sort of like play as many dating sims and visual novels as I can because I really enjoy them and it's a genre that I don't think gets enough love. It's sort of what I'm known for because I do like the girl voices and things like that. I like doing the voice acting in general. It's super fun. I haven't done one in a while. I promise guys, by the way, that I'll be bringing those back to the channel very soon, but I do do the vlogs occasionally. I try to do one of those like once a month and comedy content. I mean, if you want to call my Let's Plays comedy content or the various sketches that I like do once a year or whatever i hope that you like those i hope that you can call those comedy content and that those bring a smile to your face and a little bit of laughter into your life you know how it is anyway we got career here his first video was uploaded on march 17th 2013 and it's called an intro to gerbigly video game science and alcohol that is true that's my dark, dark past right there. If you guys have never seen that video, it's still up. I don't believe in deleting videos for the most part. I like to keep up all my old cringe just due to the fact that it's a nice reminder of where I've come from, how far my journey has been on this path of YouTube, whatever is going on in my life right now, where I'm able to do this full time. It's wild. When I first started the channel, I just wanted people to watch some videos of mine. I wanted to like connect with like minded gamers and people who were into science and booze at the time, which was the original branding of the channel. And I was like, hey, maybe if these 10 people who are subscribed to me talk to me now and then about the things that they like that we have in common that's enough that's really cool and now i'm at a point where i'm able to do this like as a full-time thing and it's wild it's just crazy that i've come so far it's something that i'll never be able to say thank you for enough it's just really really weird but i always have people like in my twitch streams talk about this video anytime anyone's new to the community they're like hey if you want to get to know brian go check out an intro to gerbigly it's uh yeah it's major cringe it's pretty bad Bad. His YouTube about page states, I make anime voices. Hey there guys and gals, welcome to my channel. I mainly do Let's Plays. Okay, so this is just the description in my about section of my YouTube page. 
I totally get it. It looks like it's going to be like copy and pasted here. So I don't need to read that to you guys. Uh, it does say here total raise for charity $8,444. That's incorrect. That actually needs to be updated because um, we've raised a lot more money than that since then. We've done uh, several other fundraisers since then for charity causes. But besides that, it looks like it's all accurate. Maybe some like verbiage in there has been updated i don't know i'm not gonna read through it if you guys want to fact check yourself on that and want to edit the page for me go for it like i said i'm not gonna care too much now this is the juicy bit this is the bit that i've been looking forward to the most this is the trivia section which is all the little tiny facts about me that are either going to creep me out or going to make me feel super flattered because Ah, you guys care so much. But number one is he began a relationship with YouTuber Morgan D from The Treasure Trove in March of 2008. That's true. We've been together for 10 plus years, which is insane. I like that her name is Morgan D. But uh, yeah, Morgan and I have been together, so that is accurate. Uh, and she does run the YouTube channel, The Treasure Trove. If you guys haven't checked out my girlfriend's channel, you can do so once again. Go into like my uh, YouTube page, go to the channel section, and she should be the top one listed there. You guys can check out the stuff that she does. Uh, he and his sister are adopted. That's true. We're both from South Korea, but we were adopted when we were babies. So we've lived here in America pretty much our entire lives. And it's all I really have known. But at the same time, obviously a big part of who I am being an adoptee. His father's a doctor. That's also true. He studied psychology for a while. That is also true. I didn't just study it for a while. I graduated with the degree in psychology and I actually uh, did psychology for a bit as a career before I was like, OK, maybe this isn't for me. Uh, he managed his own business. That's also true. I co-managed a uh, Internet marketing firm with two of my friends. His cat's names are Plinko and Sig, oh, my little baby boys. I love them so much. When he was younger, he wanted to be a marine biologist. That's very true. When I was a kid, I wanted to save the manatees really badly and all sea life really, but I was obsessed with manatees to the point where my parents used to buy me like manatee plushies and stuff like that. And then as I got older, I was like, man, I'm not like super huge into that part of science. As I got older again after that, I got back into science. But when I was sort of like looking into college careers and things like that, I wasn't really as into science so I moved away from biology I actually became an English major for a little while before I moved on to psychology favorite game of all time is Final Fantasy 6 that is true that is my favorite game ever it originally came out on the SNES here in America as Final Fantasy 3 I remember going over to my cousins to play it all the time my friends all owned a copy I never owned a copy of the original cartridge I used to like rent it from like blockbuster and movie rental stores and I used to play the crap out of it just over and over and over again those are some of my favorite gaming memories from when I was a kid and then I got Got renamed to Final Fantasy VI, which was its true title, where it was put on like PlayStation 1 and Game Boy Advance and just remade a million times basically. Learn how to ride a bike at age five. That is also true. I was an early biker. My uh, dad bought me a bike when I was a young kid, or my dad and mom, I guess, uh, bought me a bike when I was a young kid. And my dad used to teach me how to ride it out on the little like walkway in front of our house. And I remember falling over a whole bunch, but damn, if I wasn't having fun, like I jumped right back on that thing and I made sure that I learned how to ride it. Uh, his username has always been Gerbeagley. This was coined from a mashup of his favorite Invader Zim character, Gur, and the Beagle Dog. It hasn't always, always been Gerbeagley, but I've had this name for well over 10 years now. I've been using this handle for a really, really long time. I'm not going to tell you guys my past usernames, but they're so far in the past that it was just like ancient cringe. But yeah, my name does come from the Invader Zim character, Gur, who is like one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time, and the Beagle Dog because when I was a little kid, I used to call beagles beaglies because I love beagles. They're so cute. They're so awesome. I can't wait to get one of my own someday. 
biggest fear is needles. That's also true. I hate needles. They're my biggest phobia. I don't really know why 100%. I had some like weird experiences with sharp objects when I was a kid, like splinters from like running on our wooden deck, things like that. So maybe that's where it comes from. I've just always had trouble like when there's a needle in the room. Sometimes I get to the point where like I almost hyperventilate. So it's one of those phobias that I can't explain, but is a phobia through and through, you know, an, ir an irrational fear that you can't explain. Because I know deep down, needles aren't that scary, they're not that dangerous, but still, they freak me out. Totally irrational. It's just how it is. Uh, loves spicy food. I absolutely adore spicy food. It's some of my favorite stuff. Favorite undersea creature is a squid. He likes creatures from the cephalopod family. That's very true. I think that giant squid especially are so cool. They're terrifying, but they're super awesome. Like they're just these huge like 40 foot long monsters that are underwater. That's so awesome. Super crazy stuff. It always makes me feel bad when I eat calamari. Favorite horror movie is The Evil Dead. That is also true. I love The Evil Dead. I'm also a huge fan of the Phantasm series, which came out around the same-ish time and sort of had the same theme of like weird undead monsters and just like campy humor thrown in there. It was just one of those weird series that happened during like the heyday of horror films. I really like that kind of stuff. He has two tattoos and plans to get more. Very true. I got a tattoo on my chest and I also have a tattoo on my shoulder. I want to get more because I think tattoos are cool and I have a lot of ideas for ones that are really significant and mean a lot to me. I also have one piercing in my left ear. That's also true. Uh, I'm not double jointed. That's also true. I think that one might have been added as a joke. I can't remember or maybe I just mentioned that briefly in like a stream or something and someone decided to add it. But yeah, I'm very much not double jointed. I actually like really stiff joints and I can't bend too much like it's weird because I'm a flexible person but I can't like bend my elbows past a certain point or like my fingers past a certain point I'd have like really really stiff fingers so yeah I guess that's a fact about me again like I said getting into those slightly creepy weird really tiny details in there <laughs> uh, first gaming console was Nintendo Entertainment System the NES that is true also I remember growing up I used to go over to my cousin's house and they had an old Atari 2600 where we used to play like Pong on that and stuff and I fell in love with video games uh, sort of around then but it wasn't until I went over to my, my best friend at the Times house when I was in kindergarten I went over to his house and his brother was playing the first Final Fantasy on the NES and I was like this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life and then my parents actually bought the NES for themselves when I was really young and we played Super Mario Mario Brothers together and there's also this game that my mom and I used to play and we rent it from the blockbuster all the time we'd play it over and over and beat it over and over that was called Snow Brothers and that game on the NES was like what made me really really love like cooperative gaming and stuff like that the only food Brian really hates is mushrooms that's very true I don't really like mushrooms very much I don't like the texture and most of the time I don't like the flavor if they're mixed in with the right ingredients in the right way I don't mind them that much but overall I'm not a big mushroom guy. Brian loves eggs, but is becoming egg intolerant. Oh, that's just a weird but very true fact. Um, sometime like in my late 20s, I started developing egg intolerance, which is really weird because it's like not something that I, I at least I don't think it's super common, but I love eggs. I like to eat eggs for like breakfast. I like to do like breakfast for dinner type stuff. I love like breakfast pizzas, that type of thing. But if I eat too many eggs in a day, I get really, really sick. It's not fun. Uh, he's lactose intolerant. Yes, I am also lactose intolerant. I'm like severely lactose intolerant, which really sucks. Uh, his favorite fruit is strawberry. That is true. I do love a good old strawberry. Uh, favorite flower is tulip. Also true. But yeah, some of these facts. Honestly, I don't remember mentioning some of these things. Uh, favorite candies are Twix and Skittles. That's also true. I love those. Although when it comes to candy, you can't really go wrong with me. I love candy. Favorite animal is a snow leopard. I love snow leopards. Love, love, love them. I used to get National Geographic when I was a kid, and I loved all the articles about them. But I remember being a kid and flipping through and seeing an article about snow leopards. And by this point in my life, I owned this little plushy snow leopard whose name is Cubby. And I used to just like snuggle with Cubby every day. He was the perfect size to like put in the crook of my neck when I went to bed. So he was like a comfort stuffed animal for me. 
and uh, I just, I don't know. Snow leopards are so cool. They're endangered. They really need our help. I feel super bad for them, but they're really awesome animals. He's slightly colorblind, but his favorite color is Kelly Green. That is also true. I absolutely love the color Kelly Green because it's one of those greens that really pops out. If you guys don't know that color, you can just Google it and it should pop out in the images. But yeah, I am colorblind. It doesn't really interfere with my life too much. Sometimes it makes certain games a little bit harder than they should be. But overall, I, you know, I, I've lived with it my whole life. It's not like, whoa, I'm colorblind. I, this is a huge disability or anything like that. It's just, you know, regular life to me. It took eight to nine years of French. That's also true, I believe. Let's see, I started in sixth grade and then I took it all the way, yeah. Yeah, I took it for like nine years. That's crazy to think about. That is wild. Uh, Brian's mom is from an Irish family. She is, she is Irish American. Uh, he loves cheesecake and carrot cake. Yep, those are my two favorite cakes actually. Played soccer when he was younger and is a black belt in karate. He also did cross country and track. Also true, I did all of those things. I. I uh, was a very active young kid. I loved sports as much as I loved video games. Sports was nice. I think, again, the whole like cooperative side of things and sort of the idea of self-improvement really like pushed me through a lot of stuff. And honestly, I did cross country and track because I wanted to meet girls. So yeah, that was a big driving force back then. <laughs> uh, prefers ranch dressing on salads. Good God, that is one of the most specific facts I've ever read about myself online. That is true. Yeah, I like ranch dressing. I can't have too much because of the lactose intolerance, but it's one of my favorite dressings. Uh, loves olives. I do. I'm a big olive fan. It's taken the Pottermore sorting quiz and received Slytherin both times. Very true. I uh, made a second email specifically so that I could uh, take the sorting hat quiz again because I got Slytherin the first time and I was like, okay, I have to be sure because I've always liked Slytherin house. I have like Slytherin merch, that type of thing. So I did it again and I actually, I think I put my results here on the YouTube channel when I did it that second time and I landed in Slytherin once more and that was pretty cool. That was pretty telling. Uh, the first time he took the Patronus quiz, he received the Ragdoll Cat. The second time he got a Salmon. That's true also. And that's actually just, yeah, that's from that video. So people would know about that stuff. All right. So that was a lot of wacky trivia. That was really specific shit. And like I said, I don't remember sharing all of that info. So that's a little bit weird. But yeah, I can't really fact check too much in there. It's just like little tiny tweaks I would make to the entry if I were editing this myself. But overall, it's pretty accurate. Uh, we got quotes here from me. OK, I don't even remember saying half these things, but I guess that these are things that I've said during streams and various series, different videos. Doesn't look like it's been updated in a while because the last one came from when I played Overwatch with Ethan, which was like a million years ago. And then we got stream memes as my last segment. And that's a bunch of old stream memes. Uh, some of these are still active bits. That's a weird one. I'm not sure why the bits one is in there because bits are just something that everyone gets on Twitch. Uh, Spangus Dangus, that's yeah, positive bullying, traditioning and being flustered. Yeah, uh, most of these are, are pretty accurate. The folked one is kind of dead. That was like a really early stream meme. So it looks like maybe my page hasn't been updated in a while, but that's fine. Like I said, it's one of those things where it was more just surprising to know that I had an entry on this at all that, like you guys cared enough about me to make one and it's really flattering it's super super flattering it's just a weird time of my life right now I'm still very new to doing this like full-time content creation thing and the fact that I have as much support as I do online just means the world it's so cool getting to like go to conventions and events and meet you guys face to face and be like thank you so much for supporting me and all the things that I put up on the internet to be like criticized and to be enjoyed it's just really wild that there's enough people who want to keep me going and it's never going to stop meaning something to me. So thank you guys so, so much for changing my life and for doing wacky little things like this Wikitubia entry. Like I said, guys, we made it. It's pretty wild. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed me sort of like stroking my own ego on camera here by looking at an entry all about me. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all your support you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you and as always it was great seeing you bye bye